Today makes three months since I've been celibate, and I've been going through it. Like, I just know I'm going to act so bad after I break this little hiatus. I think I'm going to get a train ran on me. So I'm give some of you young ladies and some of you old some advice. It is not a flex that your current boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend, or even your baby daddy homeboys want to fuck. All that shows is they think that you are the weakest link. And since you're the closest thing to that nigga to hurt him, because it's all screaming jealousy and envy, you the target, baby. I really do hate when y'all come on here and y'all be like, oh, he never gonna find another me or blah, 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 blah. He never gonna do it like me. Bae, I just want you to really think. He definitely gonna find another you. Why? Because he got one outfit. He saucing them hoes up in that same outfit he sauced you up in. Like a fucking cartoon character. He been on the pilot episode for three years. On season three, same outfit. And you worried about a nigga that's signed by Cartoon Network. We got other issues, huh? <laughs> Listen to me, because I know if y'all want a man to be in love with y'all, you have to cheat on him. You have to cheat on him at least once. Like, beat down his self-esteem. This is how you manipulate niggas and make them be in love with you, because they only like you when you treat them like shit. So you have to treat him bad. You have to I can tell she messing with some losers. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Chai, Bahashem, Hakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who do well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. Shalom to you few sisters out there that's listening and learning, doing the right thing. Brother Ariar coming at you with another lesson here. And you've seen the two first videos that I played, man. One woman sitting there talking about, you know, she ain't had sex in three months and she want a train ran on her, right? And I believe the, the third woman on the second video says if you want a man to respect you you got to cheat on him you know and it just shows you the mentality of these women man okay and things um are going to happen to them man especially what's in this article here man that i came across man women with this mentality okay is going to be going through it there's going to be a lot of suffering man for these type of women with the with this mind frame man or this mindset I think since they can go out there and just, you know, have sex with multiple men and, you know, be whores, right? These things are going to be happening when all hell breaks loose to a lot of women out here that are straight up wicked and straight up demons, man. Okay? So I'm going to read this article. I'm going to get into some scriptures, of course, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Okay? And it says, woman who escapes month-long captivity says other black women killed by abductor right and it says a 22 year old black woman in missouri who escaped after a white man abducted abducted tortured and held her captive for weeks in a basement has said several other black women were killed by her captor less than a month after police dismissed community concerns about a serial killer as completely unfounded okay and it says the woman who has not been named escaped on the 7th of october after about a month in captivity still wearing a metal collar locked with a padlock that authorities had to remove it says she told kansas city police that 39 year old timothy m hazlitt had imprisoned her in a basement room in excelsior springs a city just northeast of kansas city where he whipped and raped her repeatedly she escaped while haslett was dropping his child off at school and she sought help from neighbors whom she told that her friends did not make it out and were killed by haslett around the time she went missing several prominent community leaders raised concerns about the disappearance of multiple black women and girls. Last month, the Kansas City Defender, a nonprofit newsroom published a video of Bishop Tony Caldwell saying that he had received information that the missing women had all been kidnapped from Prospect Avenue in Kansas City. The police dismissed the concerns outright as completely unfounded uh, that there is no bias to support their rum this rumor. <laughs> In fact, the survivor who referred to as TJ in court documents said Haslett picked her up on Prospect Avenue in early September. 
Haslett, a scruffy looking white man with dark brown hair and a graying beard, was detained and last week pleaded not guilty to charges including rape, kidnap, and assault. Excelsior Springs police are now investigating the possibility that at least two more women were similarly uh, victimized. All right. Let me see if there's any any more any uh anything else there I could read, man. Okay. But it appears to me that uh, these women were streetwalkers, right? Okay. Let me see here. It says uh, details of the woman's ordeal are harrowing, according to the Clay County, Missouri District Attorney's probable cause statement tj reported that timothy had kept her in a small room in the basement that he had built he kept her restrained and handcuffs on her wrists and ankles and it says in addition haslett whipped her while she was restrained leaving wounds on her back that were consistent with this description the probable cause statement added after escaping about 8 a.m on the 7th of october TJ sought help from neighbors who wrapped her in a blanket and gave her food and called the police. It says, according to court documents upon the officer's arrival at the residence, they found TJ. She was wearing latex lingerie and had a metal collar around her neck with a padlock, a duct tape around her neck. TJ advised that the man by the name of Timothy picked her up on Prospect Avenue in Kansas City at the beginning of September. Of 2022 okay and man now <laughs> i ain't heard nothing about this in the news at all man okay this just came across uh, a notification went off of my phone a couple of hours ago about this man okay and then and these people are making an uproar about this man still not knowing or understanding that the powers that be in this country Okay, the princes of the power of the air, if you will. Don't give a shit about us, man. They don't care. This should have been national news. Okay? And I guarantee you, no one, maybe the, the brothers in Kansas City heard about it. You know? But I, no one, I, I haven't seen or heard anything about this, man. Okay? And he killed the other women that he abduct, abducted, man. Okay? Now, more than likely, they were sex workers. I don't know that for sure. But I'm saying that that could be what it was, you know, because, uh, you know, he picked them up. So I guess that's a subtle way of them saying that they were streetwalkers or women, women of the night or what have you. Hookers. Okay? But this is what's going to be happening on a large scale to women that are wicked, man. Okay, a lot of women are going to be going through this, okay, that are wicked, man, that have no regard for, for their own lives, man, that have no regard for themselves or anybody else, especially to have no regard for the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai. When all hell break loose, a lot of you women out there that are straight up demons are going to be confined to, you're going to be captured, right, confined to a room or wherever you're put at. And you're going to be raped and beaten just like this, man. Okay, this is going to be happening all over the place. And I'm pretty sure this is not the only dude in the United States that's doing this, man. You know? A lot of them Edomite men lust after uh, Israelite women. But in the same token, they hate y'all, man. And that's what it was, man. This whole thing was lust and hate, man. Okay? telling you man a lot of you women that's not right y'all better get right man because y'all don't want to be up in somebody's basement getting tortured and raped repeatedly man this is second address nine and nine through twelve and it says then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. 
The same must know it after death by pain, okay? And that was nothing more than another death angel from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man, okay? To bring pain and and um and torment, okay? And embarrassment to these women, man, okay? And this is something that's going to be happening on a large scale, man, okay? And this is not, of course, you know, this is something that is warranted, okay? Because a lot of women out here are on some shit where they can just, they feel like they can do whatever they want, man, you know? They feel like uh, sleeping with an abundance of men is the right thing to do, right? Or disrespecting a man or stepping out on a man, you know, just being whores. And that's not the way to go, man. And we're going to see a lot more judgments in the earth just like this one, man. This is going to be the new norm soon, okay? When this place becomes lawless, this is going to be the, 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 new, the new norm, man. All right, it may be shocking to some now, but soon it won't be shocking at all. Let me get a. Uh, let me get a. Uh, let me see here. First, let me see Isaiah thirty-two. That's what I want. Isaiah thirty-two and nine. And it says, uh, it says, uh, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye you careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. It says, tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Okay? And a lot of these females out here are at ease right now, man. They're not worried about turning back to the Lord. They're worried about doing things that's pleasing to the flesh. They're not worried about spiritual things. They're only worried about carnal things. And because of that, the Heavenly Father is going to punish a lot of women out here that have that mindset. You know, a lot of women out here that, that live uh, that life, man. Okay? And it says, many days and years shall you be troubled. Ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, right? And them days are coming uh, very fast, man, you know? These women ain't trembling now, right? But they will be in that day, because a lot of these women that have that mindset are going to be rejected by the men of the Lord, and they're not going to have any covering or protection in those days, right? And it's going to be a free-for-all on them. And men are going to be able to do whatever they want with them, man. And no one's going to come and save them or help them or anything like that. They are going to be on their own. And they're going to be calling out to the Heavenly Father. And the Heavenly Father is not going to hear them, man. Okay? Salakia. Yeah, the Heavenly Father is not going to hear their cries, man. Okay? They're going to be, you know, hoping and wishing for someone to come and save them, man, like a knight in shining armor. But no one's going to show up, man. Okay, and the Heavenly Father is going to allow them to be treated, however, and tormented and, and, and um, uh, you know, tormented and um, tortured. Okay, Salakia for the, for the tongue tie. And tortured, man. Okay, the Heavenly Father is going to allow a lot of um, crazy things that happen to people, man, in these last days, man. And this is uh, First Ezra uh, four and thirty six and thirty seven. It says, "All the earth crieth upon the truth, and the heaven blesseth. All works shake and tremble at it, and with it is no unrighteous thing." It says, "Wine is wicked, the king is wicked, women are wicked, all the children of men are wicked, and such." are all their wicked works. There is no truth in them, and their unrighteousness also they shall perish. Okay? And, um, yeah, man. A lot of these, uh, these women out here that's, you know, uh, sex workers, a lot of these women out here that's cheating on their mans and just being straight up demons, 
are going to be going through it, man. We seeing more and more of this, man. You know, Israelite women are the only uh, group of women that act this way, man. Okay? And it's because of the curses, man, of Deuteronomy 28, man. Okay? And, of course, you know, I, I get sick of seeing it, man. I know brothers get sick of seeing it as well, but, you know, this is something that we got to endure, man. Okay? But the beautiful thing is, is that our women... Are on the on the low of the totem pole now they are basically base women at the end of the day for now but on the other side in the kingdom of righteousness you know our women are going to be the standard man okay and the other the other nations the other women from other nations are going to be looking up at israelite women and the israelite women are going to be uh you know the ones that women want to be like in righteousness okay the Israelite woman is going to be the standard, man, right? And I know me, for me, myself, and other brothers, I can't wait to see our women in righteousness, man, because we've seen them dwelling in wickedness and darkness for so long, man. You know? Let me go to, uh, let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 7 real quick. Right? And it says, I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reasoning of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found, saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. Okay, because the majority of women are wicked, man. You know, a, lot, a large majority of women in this truth are wicked as well, man. Okay? There's only like probably a select few out there that's honestly, you know, cert, uh, striving for righteousness, man. Striving to be, you know, a righteous woman, man. But for the most part, you know, a lot of these women use being an Israelite as a cloak or a covering to hide themselves, man, from revealing who they really are at the end of the day, you know? So that's that's a uh, woman's nature is to be wicked, man. And it starts off with Eve, man, you know? And it trickled on down to this day and age now, man, you know? 99% of women are wicked, man. It's only that 1%. That's actually striving to be righteous. Okay? And that's just what it is. You know? Let me get uh let me get Ezekiel real quick. Ezekiel 7, 3 and 4. And it says, Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee. And will judge thee according to thy ways. Right? The Heavenly Father is out here. He's communicating with you women out here. Letting you know. Right? That you're going to be judged by your ways. Okay? But most of these women are not listening. They're not paying attention. Okay? They're not hearkening unto the, unto the communication that the Heavenly Father is putting out there, man. This article. That's what this article said to me spiritually, man. This is the he Heavenly Father warning women out there. That if you don't change your ways and turn back to him, the same is going to happen to you. Now is, is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee. Right? These women was out here being sex workers, man. He recompensed. He recompensed they, their ways upon them, man. Okay? And thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, man. Okay? And that last woman, she got spared, man. Okay? Now, I don't know. Maybe the, the Heavenly Father might awaken her to the truth, or he might be reserving her for the great judgment, man. Okay? So it could be either or. Who knows, man? But the Heavenly Father... What we do know is the Heavenly Father saved her and had mercy on her for a reason, okay? Or it could have just been that uh, the Heavenly Father, uh, 
the work that he had that man do, it was over with, man. It was time for him to be uh, in prison, okay? And you can just imagine how many of these Edomite men living in the backwoods some, somewhere got women locked away in dungeons, in dungeons and just torturing them and killing them and disposing of them, okay? This could be where a, a, a great majority of quote-unquote black women are, are at, man, okay? And locked away in someone's basement, man, getting uh, tortured and raped, man. You know, this is eye-opening, man, right? Let me see here, man. Let me get Psalms 44 real quick. It's Psalms 44. And uh, 13 and 14. It says, Thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people, man. Okay? Because most of these people, you know, for the most part, you know, these Edomites, these other nations don't give a damn about us, man. They hate us. They envy us. And they hate us. Right? And we're a byword to them. This is why when people in the community over there, I, I can't remember the name of the town, was telling, you know, the... Um, the, the police department that these these women were were missing right they didn't give a damn about that you know this should have been national national news man you know national news man and i guarantee you hardly anyone even uh, heard about it okay it's just another way of showing you that these people don't give a damn man they don't care this is why they need to be destroyed and this is what this is part of the reason why they are our enemy, man. Okay? They are not for us. They are against us, man. Okay? And these churchgoers and these Christians, you know, these Catholics and what have you, always try to um, you know, bond themselves with the other nations and Esau, man. Okay? And that's just not gonna work for you in your favor, man. It's always gonna be to your detriment at the end of the day. Why? Because these people don't give a fuck about you, man. All right? They don't. Let me get Deuteronomy real quick, 28. Nine, 19 and 20, it says, Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out, man. All right? So when you going out your house, you curse. When you coming in your house, you curse. Okay? As far as us, man, when we, when we, when we come in the household, man, you know, we got to deal with bullshit from our women and our children. When we go out, when we leave our house, we don't know if we're going to come back. We don't know if we're going to come back alive, man. Or if we're going to come back the same way that we left. You know, it's part of the curses. Same thing for the women. It says, the Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke. And in all thou settest thine hand unto for to do until thou be destroyed. And until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Okay? okay? And that's going into, you know, searching after other gods, man. Right? And I guarantee you, them women didn't know nothing about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Their God is probably Jesus, man, at the end of the day, man. Or Allah. Right? And we, we all know there's no power in either one of them, man. Because neither one of them are gods. They're just idols, man. And there's no power in idols. The only true power is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And it's, and I'm shit. For yo, these women could have walked past the brothers in, in Kansas City, man. You know, made fun of them. You know, talk shit while they was uh, you know, with the murmurings and all that, the scoffing. Right? Who knows? It could be. Because at the end of the day, spirits recognize spirits, man. Okay? And these unrighteous spirits recognize righteous spirits, man. You know? For example, I went into uh, I went to 7-Eleven to get something real quick, you know, for the house. And um, there was this bull dyke behind the counter. And she was, and this was right after I got home from camp on Saturday, yesterday. So, you know, she was friendly with everyone. You know, I was standing in line. She, I seen her. She was laughing, smiling, you know, you know, uh, talking back and forth with every person that came up to the line. And as I'm waiting... I, I noticed that. As soon as I got up to the counter, man, her whole countenance changed, man. 
I've never seen this woman before in my life. I never did anything or any harm to her or anyone she knows for that matter, okay? But her whole countenance changed when I came up, man. She was very, she was very nasty and, and disrespectful and unprofessional when I put my stuff down on the counter that I was trying to buy, okay? And that just let me know that the wicked spirits recognize the righteous spirits, man. The wicked spirits know who we are, man. Okay, those of us that are striving for righteousness, that are, you know, doing the work of the Heavenly Father, the wicked spirits recognize us, man. They know who we are, man. And through their ways and actions and through their aura and through their energy, we know who they are as well. Right? So let me go down here to 30. And it says, Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shalt not gather the grapes thereof, man. But of course, my point is at the top, thou shalt betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. Who's to say that a lot of these women that got murdered down there in that basement didn't have a husband, man? You know, the scriptures is telling us that, you know, another man is going to sleep with our wives, man. At the end of the day, all of us have wives, but they're not ours, man. You know, all women are fair, are fair game, man, at this point. Why? Because of the curses of Deuteronomy 28, man. Why? Because we went against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And we worship other other gods and idols before we worship Him, man. You know? Let me go, uh... You know, I was going to go into Sirach 39, 28. You know, there'd be spirits created for vengeance, which they are, man. Okay, he was nothing more than a, a death angel, man. Okay, and lo, who knows how many women that, you know, he, he uh, you know, put to death, man. Who knows? Okay, he's probably been doing this for a while, man. And just finally, he just got caught, man. You know, and the Heavenly Father has plenty of death angels out there to do this, the very same thing, man. And we're going we're gonna to see a lot more of these death angels pop up. Especially, you guessed it, when all hell break loose, man. You know these these dudes out here that are, that are deprived, that don't have don't have a lot of sex. You know, that uh, women uh, disrespect and laugh at and treat like shit. These are going to be the same men that's going to be out here with their eyes wide open. Why? Because it's going to be free pickings, man. Whatever women they want, they're going to take, man. And if a woman, if a woman is not with a man of the Lord, man, they're going to be, they're going to be asked out, man. No protection. No protection at all, man. You know, let me get a, let me get Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 5 real quick. Okay, and it says, horribly and speedily shall it shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places, man. Okay? And you know that that's definitely going for, you know, the wicked that are in high places. But doesn't the scripture say that the women are in high places as, as well? Right? What scripture is that? Is that um I think that's Proverbs, man. Proverbs 9. Right? Let's get that real quick. Proverbs 9. Let me see. Right. So it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou sh shalt be wise for thyself. But if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. For she sitteth at the door of her house on a high seat. I mean, on a seat in the high places of the city, man. Okay? Let me, let's, let's just go back to that real quick, man. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 5. Right? It says, horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places, man. Okay? So these women are out there selling their bodies, you know, thinking, and they already know going out there that, you know, these things can happen to them. 
But these women is jumping the car with any old body, man. Okay? So unexpectedly, unbeknownst to them, the la that would be the last car that they would ever enter, man. Except for the last woman, of course, because the Heavenly Father had mercy on her, man. Okay? But horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places, man. Okay? And is not this world made for women? Okay? It is, man. That's why, you know, a, a great percentage of women are going to be judged, man. You know, women outnumber men 10 to 1, man. So a lot more women are going to be judged than men, man. When all of this judgment starts flowing out, man, freely, you know. Damn, I'm 30 minutes. Um, Yeah, man, I just wanted to bring those out. I wanted to bring out Micah 7 and 10. And um, that would have been my last one. Maybe Job, uh, Job 4. Right. But I, 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 you know, I made my I made my point. You know, I brought out enough uh, precepts, man. OK, but um, keep a lookout and see if the if the uh, the media brings this out. And I guarantee I, I doubt that they will, man. You know, because at, at the end of the day, they don't give a damn at all, man. You know, if it would have been white women missing, then it would have been national news, as we all know. Or Edomite women, rather. You know what I'm saying? It would have been national news, man. But since we are under the curses and we are at the bottom, you know, and these uh, wicked ass people at the top, it's not going to catch any light. No light is going to shed on it, man. Why? Because they want it to continue to happen at the end of the day. Why? Because they are doing the Lord's bidding, man. Okay? At the end of the day, that's what it's all about, man. Okay? Because we're cursed. This is why these things are happening. Okay? So once again, you women that, with that mentality... You know, like these women in the first two videos that I played, expect something like this to happen to you if you don't turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. Because there will be no escaping His wrath, man. Okay? I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the elect. Much respect to the brothers pushing His word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you, few sisters out there. This is Brother Aviyah Shalom.